Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. We are live tonight. I'm actually back. I feel like I've been like gone half the time on on Thursday nights doing crazy stuff. So well, either you or me. True. Yeah, and, and Anna that to, like, one time hold down the fort. <laughs> I have. Yeah. It's been fun. Yeah. I got to cover real toys for a while. So. Uh, apparently, Anna is reviewing different figures. Well, there's two. It's all the bees together. Oh, okay. Well, that's not all the bees. Well, okay, it's two of the bees. How many hands do you think I have? It's Seven. like a... Uh, <laughs> is, is somebody was showing off uh, in, in our chat today, there was like a swarm of bees... Of you know, because obviously he has there's like a thousand versions of him and, and whatnot. So, but they were all movie bees, so it was like way worse than it could have been otherwise. Oh, I didn't even notice that it was just movie. Yeah, bees. all like it was like 800 movie bees. Who would have that? That person would. Let's say, are we allowed to talk about the uh, the other bee too, or since we haven't reviewed the like the four pack, are we? I'll probably could. put them up here as a quick comparison. You can uh, put them on your toy camera if you cliff, wanted to. Cliff jumper B. B jumper. So, um, so yeah. So tonight we are reviewing the uh, what is it called again? Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee, right? Ooh, you said yes. Bumblebee twice. So there we go. Bumblebee. So I feel like that the biggest thing um, about this release is that is the the very first release that we've had in all like uh, paper uh, packaging, right? Like at, re at retail, at least. Uh, I mean, if you don't want to count the commanders and the titans, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. This is the windowless window packaging. Yeah. And I right. hate it. I really do. Why do and why do you it? hate it? Okay, have you guys seen the, the TikTok or YouTube trend this summer with the Space Jam figures? The LeBron James, yeah. The LeBron James, and they rip the heads off of them, and then right. there's just headless figures hanging around. Yeah, how long before that happens to our Transformers? Okay. I mean, I don't know. People do dumb stuff all the time, so... I feel like this is the end of me buying toys at retail forever. Like, I have oh, to get wow. them online... Or else other, someone's going to have coughed on it and put their COVID all over it. Someone's going to you know, rip pieces off of it or, you know, steal the accessories out of the box. And it's just like, you know what? I'm just going to buy everything online. No more retail. I don't the know. Hunt is I dead. mean, I feel like they pretty much, like, hide most of the accessories. You can really only see the main figure, like, with it. Um, so, I, I don't know. I like the packaging personally because i can just take this thing and just toss it straight in my recycling i don't have to worry about um of like course there's that apart. i do like so. that that but is I'd rather, true i'd rather just be sealed boxes i know that means that makes the jobs easier on the swappers i mean you guys i'm sure saw the right. masterpiece optimus replaced with the titans return optimus this week but um that's, i would rather have closed boxes than open boxes yeah. I that makes sense. I'm a crazy the, person. The other so thing cool. with this is is this uh, was actually a little more expensive than like a uh, a typical like deluxe figure or whatnot. Um, so it was what twenty is it twenty two ninety nine or twenty three ninety nine something like that. Twenty three something like that. Well, that's a new price point, isn't it? Yeah. Twenty twenty two ninety nine is the new price point. Yeah. Yeah, so he's just the beauty of the new price point. Now, I remember when he first started hitting shelves, some places accidentally had him marked up closer to 30. He was like 27 or so. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> some targets, actually, which is bizarre, but... Oh, weird. <clears throat> it is what happened. I saw some receipts that it was bizarre, but they got him slightly earlier than me, so I guess that's an advantage or something. I don't know. Yeah, odd. But yeah, yeah I, I will say that this figure, I feel like has been in 
plentiful supply, at least where I've been at. Like, I've, I've seen plenty of them on the shelves, so it hasn't been something where it's like, oh, there's only one or two, you know, kind of thing. It seems like there's been, like, you know, like, like they'll get, like, eight in, and there's, like, six. I have not seen them. Really? Not at all, or? I, I picked up the one I picked up, like, 100 miles away from me that time I went to go do that. Uh-huh. And I have not seen them on the shelf ever again. Huh. Yeah. Okay. It could just be a distribution thing, too, because I know, like, that uh, World's Collide pack, um, like, it has just not hit Kansas City at all. And then now it's, like, hit. They've actually stocked it a couple times. And so now it's in, like, plentiful supply. But, like, I couldn't find it for the longest time. Yeah, I was afraid this one would be like that. I was afraid it'd be hard to find. So when I first found him, I picked up one for me and Lucas, of course, and thought, you know, woo, we're saved. But he's been all over the place since then. We don't have arcs out here either. It's true. You don't. And we have arcs everywhere. Yeah, because, like, I I think uh, at, uh, at my target, or whatever the one that's closest to me it had a couple arcs i think anna you bought your arc from there right yes only and one I, and then when i went back the other day they had two arcs on the shelf so that means they had to have gotten another at least one more arc if not more in so yeah and you saw two i went the next day there was only one they've restocked at least two so yeah. that's one store selling four titans which is Kind of back to how it used to be, which is good to think that people are buying it up because the arc is very good. But we'll talk about that eventually. Well, I feel like for, uh, for the most part, like with those Titan figures, I don't remember ta- uh, Target really carrying them that much. Like they carried the Scorpion no. arc and they had him for like a minute. Um, like I saw him once and, and that's it. But like I mean, back in the day, I guess Metroplex, like I saw one at a Target like years and years ago. Um, but, um, I've only seen a Titan in a physical store one time. That's when I bought Fort Max at a Toys R Us. So long ago, yeah. Toys R Us. Yeah, I was going to say, what's this Toys R Us you're talking about? I know. But yeah, I've never seen any of the other Titans in stores. Like the Costco Metroplexes, never. Yeah. <laughs> Was that Henry? Hey, Henry. Yes. Roxy's here too. I assumed that was Roxy because she was near you, but. No. No, oh, Pen- Henry fun. came in and announced his presence. So. Well, That's he's a good. cool cat. He wears sunglasses. Yeah. So tonight we're here to talk about a bumblebee that people have been waiting approximately 300 years for. Yes. Right? First five minutes bumblebee? We, we are covering Siege Bumblebee. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is the bumblebee that should have come out in Siege. Yes. This is what Siege should have been. It should have been these Cybertronian modes as they appear in the show. Or, if you want to make dudes that didn't appear this way in the show, make them look like they did. You know? Do that. That's what we all wanted. And now we've replaced all the Siege figures with Earth Rising Kingdom figures. And now we have an actual what Siege should have been figure. It's all very confusing. Yeah, we have a Cybertronian bubble boy. Yeah, we've... Christian and I have talked about this at length, I feel like. For, ye- for years all at this of these point now. siege figures like they're so they're close enough to the ones we're getting like in kingdom and whatnot that uh like it, it, it kind of makes you not want to have both whereas like like this is completely different than the other bumblebee yes. that uh anna was showing off you know this is that one thing from that one episode you know this is because he has what five minutes of screen time like this maybe is it 10 yeah and you know <laughs> he, he looks right he's the second transformer to ever appear now we need the first one but yeah the second one here we'll he is there. yeah he does look right like this is accurate you know before i get into any nitpicks or anything else this is exactly what he's supposed to look like that um flat vehicle thingy mode that Lucas has up on his display, that is right. That is what Bumblebee looked like in episode one. It's what Christian fantastic. and I have up is, you know, that thing turned into a robot with a fake Anna. car windshield that's unexplained. It's accurate. Anna, will you pull the Netflix one up real quick? Yup. Um, Netflix so another, is uh, Another accuracy thing I really like is that 
the Cybertronium Bumblebee is the right color for the cartoon. He is <laughs> exactly the right color. And the Netflix one is fine. It's more like a realistic vehicle, and it looks good too. But man, this color of yellow is perfect. Yeah, because I have to say that in person, like if you haven't seen the Netflix one, he's very orange, much like the MP yeah. figure is. It's a very mm-hmm. orange yellow. And yeah. this toy is a yellow, yellow. It doesn't look bad. I don't think anyone would ever tell you it looks bad. Oh, absolutely just, not. It this looks great. One looks great. Very yeah, happy. it really does. It really does. And I guess we'll go through, we usually do alt mode first, so we can do alt mode first. So what do you guys think of the alt mode? Like, Love it's it. accurate, that's for damn sure. Love it. It's very complex. It, it actually is. It takes a little work to get into alt mode, and it's, my panels don't really like to line panels, up. Whatever. you got to squish it together and make the panels work. And I, Yeah, whatever. But then it looks the way it's supposed to. And you know what? That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. It doesn't feel fragile when you transform it either. Like, yeah. it is it is finicky. It is fiddly. It's annoying for me to get all the panels to lay down. But I don't I feel mean, like I'm going to break it. I just start squeezing it and yelling at it, and I it goes in the I didn't think it was that that hard to do. No. Nah, like, as far I, as getting, it, getting them all together, like, I thought it was fine. Yeah, mine doesn't go together that well in the back. It doesn't lay to, down as flat. You know, do the squishy thing, but yeah, I got it to work. Yeah, I haven't put him yeah. into that mode in a while, but it, it's fine. I think he looks good for most angles. It's like he is a very panelly little monster. You know, this this backpack unfolds, his leg kibble unfolds, and that forms a car. That means that the panels are made of thin plastic, and there's a lot of them. That means that he's not quite as frustrating as a lot of movie verse figures with the panels. Like he's no, um, he's no uh, movie B, the movie um, bug B. That was horrible. He came with the he rem- movie. He reminds me of an alternator. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, to to be fair, your masterpiece uh, Bumblebee like is a panelly mess at the bot or in the backpack, so. You know the the new one. The new one, right? Yeah, the new one. He he has a new home. He's going. He's going to someone else's house soon. Oh really? I don't like him. I I've decided after uh, a long time I just don't like him. You if you watch the show we did on him, you could probably tell I was trying to force myself to like him because I had him. I don't like him. Yeah. But we're not here to talk about him. We're here to talk about this guy, and I like this guy just fine. Comes with a bunch of stuff, which is cool. I don't have yeah. that stuff with me anymore. I was gonna say I it I comes it with here. a jetpack, which I'm not even sure. <coughs> like why? I mean, yeah, it's it's weird. It's cool. Is it the same mold from the uh, Centurion pack? Do you know? I don't know. I'm I don't sure. know either. Actually, I didn't check to make sure it was the same one. But it does. It goes on. It goes on this mold just fine. Yeah, it's, actually, I mean, Bumblebee has a jetpack since, well, not really a jetpack. Is it supposed to be kind of hella packy from Action Masters? I always thought that's why he has a jetpack. I think it's a jetpack from that time you went to Dinobot Island. Oh, okay. He did not go to Dinobot one. Island in this body, but yeah. cool. No, he did in, in this one. So you take it and you give it to this body and he hangs out with it. And right. I think it should I'm be silver, it which the Centurion one is. Yeah, it fits really well. And oh, Phil and Randall looks... says that the jetpack is different than the one in the Centurion. <laughs> is it? Okay, okay cool. So. Thank you, guys. I, I was not sure. Yeah, mine's over there. So, well, this one fits in pretty well, in my opinion. Yeah, it's neat. I don't know why it came with this, but okay. And it yeah. should be silver. I'll fix it with a chrome pen or something. Yeah, it'll be fine. Jacob was saying that uh, this other review he was watching, that uh, they wish that the jetpack... Uh, pegged in like under the alt mode and I agree because it's kind of like you can't it's hard to display on this and like unless you have like a stand or something but even then it doesn't really have a good spot to like stick this on a stand like there's no Mm. five millimeter port like underneath which is kind of weird considering that like all these figures recently have a thousand five millimeter ports and yeah because he 
he has the peg in the back of his waist to go into stand in robot mode. It's just MIA. No, isn't it there behind his hands? Um, the like, stand peg, not a I mean, Are you saying like what peg? Like I mean, oh, I'm just saying, talking about yeah. the stand yeah. peg, the peg for the stand. stand. Yeah. I mean, I that guess. Back what is that? A that's three a, millimeter port. That's what most stands use. Oh, okay. Well, most of the transformers are getting those those little pegs now. Oh, I don't know if I have one of my stands right here or not. I don't think I do. Do I have one with an arm's reach? I do not. I, I will say that, you know, it's always hard to match up yellows. <laughs> I actually think that the yellows match decently. Considering that part of this is paint, um, like, I think the yellows actually match decently well. Yep, I agree. They match, to match okay. Them, but they, yeah. They've done a good job. Yeah, I was I mean, curious how much of a bother, Christian. Because but... I know you don't like it when the paints aren't, you know, that similar, but it's not bad. It blends all right. There is one that we'll talk about eventually that I got last week. We need to talk about matching paint on white colors. Ooh. How exciting. I don't even know which one that is. Oh, wait, um, I don't. So. Uh, so this also comes with the Energon rods, which are cool. Except you can't hold them. No one can hold them. Six. Well, no, uh, Prime can hold him if you. Prime can hold him because he's I mean, got. He can, like, he, he can hold him in like he can hold him in. He can like, hug arms. them, yeah. But yeah. I think it's weird. Like it, it wouldn't have been difficult. I feel like to make the caps of those Energon rods removable so you could it through the hand. I like, want to pull the caps off so bad. Right. Like they, they, they obviously they, come they don't off, do that. right? <laughs> it's so, it's so. I'm, I'm really glad they exist because I want that prop. I don't normally like props or care about right. props, but like those are cool because they're from that scene, they're from the thing he's from. But uh, you can't do anything with them. I just toss them in a box at, at the end of the day because I don't want him to hug them. I want him to hold them. Well, didn't he kind of in the cartoon kind of hug them? Yeah. I think he put them under his arm. So. And then he put them in Wheeljack. We need to get, please. Right. So, so you know, we just need Wheeljack and then we're good. Jack in the box. We need him. It would be I nice want that to toy get him. so badly. I don't care if it has to be a leader class so that Bumblebee can fit inside him. W wonderful. Leader class wheel jack as a box. Just give it to me. Commander class. Commander class wheel jack as a box would be a bit hard to swallow. You know, I'd do it. <laughs> I would do it. I'm at the uh, point now where don't it just, give Hasbro ideas. It costs man. money. Great. Here's money. That's whatever. I feel like you're giving Hasbro ideas here. Well, we always I've been do giving that. them ideas for years, and I gave them my resume, and they still haven't called me back. Mm. Kind of carrying buddy. one now. One day. Just carrying it like a laser cannon of sorts. Not very yeah. well. Under his arm. So, yeah, his is almost pretty cool. It makes a good display. Um, it honestly, like, I have my, um, my Moss Toy Skiff usually in alt mode on display and it looks cool this looks just as cool but a lot more accurate and they both display yeah. well in alt mode but this is definitely this is it this is what it's supposed to be skiff is pretty similar to what it's supposed to be well yeah it, it, it's funny with skiff because like that was what a 40 dollar <laughs> toy when it first came out and whatnot yeah there wasn't a lot of paint on it and everything and I mean, to be honest, this is like a much better figure. Now, obviously, it's co coming out later and uh, and all that. So we've had years of, like, you know, innovation or whatever. But I, I'm going to struggle with much better, but it is, it is much more accurate. And the arms are better. Oh, no, it's, it's a better figure. Yeah, I agree. It's a better figure. For me, this one, the big problem for me with this one is just that, like, my brain has adapted to this. Um, oh, I should do the, this little version of him. My brain has adapted to this being okay for a, you know, 20 to $23 figure. Like, it has said, this is all right because it is small, 
as a deluxe. However, it is highly articulated. It is very accurate. It looks great in both modes. And it has like all the articulation points I would want in a deluxe, including waist swivel. This guy feels like... He feels a little more like... And someone from the cast, I can't remember who said it, that he kind of feels like a slightly dialed up or a very dialed up core figure. Like he's very small. He's got good articulation, but not quite good for a deluxe. He's got good proportions, but not quite good for a deluxe. And while I still really like him, I wish he was just a little bit so, more for the price. So what um, his articulation, like I, I don't see where he doesn't have the same level of articulation as... That's not most deluxes don't have wrist swivel, but, but this one does. And some of the newer ones. Well, that so, one does. But I'm, I'm saying thinking about it. Okay, like, the way I'm thinking, of, the way I'm thinking about it is like when we say Hot Rod is a small Voyager that is really highly featured for a Voyager, right? Like he's basically he's a little bit smaller than most Voyagers, but he has like more features than you see in most leaders. I think of this deluxe as a slightly small deluxe that has more features than most deluxes do. And this is not that. This is a smaller deluxe that has on the low end of features that deluxes have. It has a lot of I mean, accessories, which is I, I, positive. I feel like it has the same, like again, like it has, you know, your uh, like waist rotation, like it has like the ankle like uh, articulation. Like, I mean, the arms, all that type of thing. Like, I, I mean, I would say that it has all the same level of stuff. Now, I completely agree that he is definitely a small figure. Like, it is... Definitely a small figure. If you... I was, was going to say, like, if like this is the cliff jumper mold, right? And that's that. I mean, I guess it's pretty much about the same size. Same height. Um, Less same girth. Height. I mean... I don't know. Like, I mean, there's no hole in this. I think crap is just in different places. Type of thing. I mean, the, the one thing that I, I will say is, is that, um, you know, like my biggest complaint on the figure are just these little side bits here. Like, I think like that that's, if somehow they could figure out a way to engineer that out of it, like, you know, I think that it like would have been a darn near perfect figure. Um, I don't know that they could have, but like, I mean, I still think other, otherwise, like it has like, I mean, this, the chest has like a good amount of paint on it. Um, it does. And I mean, the head sculpt is nice. Like, I think that this looks like, like, this is the most, I don't know. Like, I really like this B as far as like the way that he looks like he looks more like B to me than the Netflix version. Yes, because of the chest. The chest really helps with that. Right. Because this, I'm, I'm just using this one now because whatever, it's the same mold, basically. And this chest has always been just like a little bit off, like just because it's the actual toy chest and not a fake chest. And this one being a fake chest can look exactly like it does in the cartoon. They can just take a photo of the, the cartoon, mold that piece, and go with it, which causes him to have a more accurate chest piece. Just a positive and a negative together. And, you, like, I'm not saying I don't like him. Like, I really do like him. And I really think that, you know, we're not going to get this again anytime soon, even right. though we get millions of bumblebees. I don't think that, you know, a third party is going to come around and make it better. Cyber Turning and Bumblebee. I don't think that Takara or Hasbro is going to come back around and do this again better for a long time, if they ever do. I think this is what we're going to get. And I think it's very good. I think it's very fun. To me, it feels like a 15 ish dollar figure instead of a $23 figure. But that didn't stop me from getting it. Right. And it's not going to stop anyone else from getting it. I haven't heard anybody say anything negative about this figure. I think everybody's been all, all smiles and dancing. Yeah. I mean, I I'm think that, I don't know. For the most part, most people have probably reset their expectations to where, yeah. you know, this the cliff jumper mold is like, you know, they're like, OK, well, I guess I'm OK with, you know, this this size on a deluxe figure uh, or at least some of them, uh, not necessarily all of them. So, um, 
yeah i don't i don't know like it's it's b i mean i think that and i don't know anna if like there's a lot of more uh bendable plastic i should say i guess like or pliable plastic like the little parts on the wings and whatnot like on his legs are a different type of plastic because you kind of want it to be because the way that yeah. it transforms and all that like you if it was a like harder more brittle plastic like you might actually have some issues with breakages uh potentially um so i don't know if maybe that's what's throwing you off on on the figure it definitely feels a little like just because no. of that plastic it feels a little bit different Honestly, there, are, there, I guess if I had to count, there were four things in this figure I don't like. And the late kibble doesn't bother me as much as it does you, um, which isn't very much in the first place. But it's <coughs> the lower arm and wrist assembly is hollow because the arm, the hand swivels into it and it doesn't have wrist rotation. I don't like that. I never like that. Um, the fake chest is just a little bit odd like if you look at it from a distance it's wonderful if you look at it close it just looks a little bit odd like the way it sets in there but you know that bugs me just a teeny bit what probably bothers me the most is the head i just don't like this head very much it's wide bumblebee head instead of like smaller bumblebee head um you know my favorite bumblebee head is of course on the most annoying of um, being MP45. So I really like that Bumblebee head. I really like a lot of other Bumblebee heads, but this one's just very wide. He's almost got like a Stewie Griffin thing going on, and that, that bugs me a little bit. But, you know, it's one of many varieties of Bumblebee head, and if we're going to get so many Bumblebees, it's probably better to have this than it is to have the same head over and over and over. Because these know. two, I think, have the same head. It's funny because um, I think that the new age Bumblebee, I think you also didn't like that, right? Or like, or I guess you had a scaled up version of that. Did I you like really the, like the on new that age one? Bumblebee? Um, no, because the scaled up ones got a weird head. Like his yeah. head didn't scale up very well. His cheeks got all sucked in. It looks so, kind of strange. I don't know. Like, I feel like that this head actually has a little more personality then it actually does have the more other personality one. and the like and and it's because this one is smiling like the like this bumblebee the exclusive one is smiling and this one is not and so i actually kind of like that a little bit more so yeah i don't know are you thinking really hard about bumblebee heads christian <laughs> but deep in thought i am actually i i didn't think this one was wide until you mentioned it it is wide, and like I, I don't like think it. that's gonna bother yeah. most people because sometimes Bumblebee's head is drawn really wide. Now, for like glamour shot stills, it's not. It's always drawn like normal proportion head, and he's always drawn with a goon smile, which is why I like the MP45 so much. He's got that like goofy ass giant smile, and that's that's like the perfect face for Bumblebee. This one is a little better because he's at least smiling, but that's not a Bumblebee smile. That's like a normal person smile. Bumblebee has to have like that slightly psychotic over the top smile. It makes me happy. But know. it's still fine. Like I'm not disappointed in this figure. The only thing I'm slightly disappointed in is just that in order to get it, it had to end up being a $23 figure when I feel like that's a little high for it. But I was still willing to do it. I, mean, I wouldn't tell other no, people not to no do it. There's no $15 price point anyway. So, right. I mean, that's the thing is, is like, it's either $10 or, you know, $23. So. Right. And would I want this thing simplified down into a core figure? No, I wouldn't. You've seen you know? what core well, bubble no, B looks like. Have right. That. Yeah. He, yes. Here is the core B right here. And, so and that, the core B is, is fine, but it's definitely a very simplistic oh, no. toy. I mean, it's like, a, I mean, it's a pile of crap compared to, to this other thing. This, I mean, yeah. it, like you're talking about hollow and whatever. I mean, it's like hollow over the place. Like the arms are like this molded in, you know, crap or whatever. No, I so. just don't have the enthusiasm that I had for like Hot Rod. Where it was like, you know, oh, he's a Voyager, but he's almost deluxe size. Like, that I was super enthusiastic for because I was like, give me a toy of that quality, and I'll pay the next price point up every time. No problem. But this one I just don't feel quite as excited about. Yeah. Like, if they started repainting this guy, I probably wouldn't go for him. 
Unless it was glyph. I would buy glyph in that stupid buzzworthy garbage mold if I had to, so. <sighs> she has to be coming, right? No. No, she doesn't have to be coming. I don't know how. I, like, I don't know how. So, so somehow now, like, we're getting a lot more female Transformers, right? But then somehow they're just like, you know what? It's all going to be RCs and Alitas. That's all you're going to get. Or, like, you're going to get, like, a, a copy of whatever mold, like, a thousand times. Yeah, we're not even getting we're not even getting a cool new Windblade, even though she's in everything. You'd think it would be time for a good Windblade again. Or, you know. A Windblade. a Windblade in Cyberverse? There has to be. There is. There's several. There hasn't a been a deluxe yet, though. Walk around character at Universal Studios in China, yeah, that's true. Now, I think. The other one is um, uh, oh, okay. Slipstream. Slipstream. Like, she was so featured in Cyberverse. Like, such an important character. I feel and like she a never got a deluxe. Slipstream has to be coming. Right? I wish, but I also. I almost don't want her to be a remold. Like, I almost want her to be her own figure so she has more personality. But, you know, well, I don't want her to be a straight repaint. I want her just to be, you know, Starscream with her head. I want her to at least have a remolded body. I but feel like you do Windblade and ask, Slipstream, right? Windblade like, and Slipstream would work together. That's what they've been making, yeah. share molds. Yeah, and that's fine yeah. by me. I don't care. That's good enough. Yeah. I think Glyph, you know, if, if we just accept that Glyph and Tap Out both have to come from the Cliff Jumper version instead of the Netflix version of the mold, then probably okay. I don't care. That's fine. I'll take it. But I don't know how it hasn't come yet. Like, but I really... If you're watching this and you're a customizer and you think that you could make this into a glyph for me, then contact me and I will pay you to make this into a glyph for me because I'm just ready. I'm ready to just give it to have someone make me and make me into a glyph. Make this a nice glyph for me so I can be done waiting for her. I'm tired of waiting. So as far as the bees, <laughs> I think it's funny that we, we got through Siege and earthrise and, and all that we're sitting there going where the heck are the bees like why have they not made a bumblebee and now i feel like we have this like plethora of bees and each one is like you know like i kind of want to be able to take them all together and um and, and whatnot and make the the perfect bee um so but i don't know like this one might be my favorite of the bees like i really like this this one has a lot of personality um you know to them and whatnot like i really like the way that the chest is um that uh, it just really comes across as bee to me i feel like that he like you know even with the side kibble and whatnot like i don't think he's that kibbly the backpack like i mean for the most part like cleans up okay like and and so i mean to be honest i kind of like this better than that masterpiece pile of junk not the original one that's inaccurate it's, no the, i agree uh, the new one that that has just a pile of crap on his back this is a better toy than that right i mean it's not that, that one it's can obviously that one can strike good, mp just... level poses that one can strike beautiful cartoon accurate poses but, that doesn't but have then a you look level. from the like, back and he's poop god i he doesn't have a waist swivel either. He's just, very frustrating. Like, He's the a figure very just pisses boy. me off so bad that, like, I mean, to be honest, like, I feel like that's one of the figures that, like, I'm like, I'm not going to collect this new Masterpiece stuff because yeah. even if I got $450 Prime or $375 Prime, whatever, I could get him from Japan. Like, I have this Bumblebee that has a pile of crap on his back that it just, it annoys me. Anyway. So, I have too many Bumblebees. And I think this one's going to stay with me. Like, one of these days, I'm just going to, like, get mad at my bumblebees. And I'm going to get rid of a bunch of them. But I'm going to keep this one because he represents a unique part of a bumblebee. Yeah. Like, unique, like, moment for him, a look for him, and all that good crap that no one else accomplishes. So I'm going to keep this guy around. I do like him. Um, I, have, I have my quirky issues with him. Um, it's fine. I do like him. I think he's good enough. <laughs> He gets to live. Um, I agree with that. I I don't like the leg kibble super much, but it also doesn't annoy me super much. It is worth it to have this representation of Bumblebee. I've been waiting for it for a long time. 
he's got good foot articulation too. Like I can't, I can't fight the fact that he does have a little bit of forward and back on his ankle, which just lets you pose him just a little bit more. And his feet aren't quite as hideous as the cliff jumper mold. You know, these feet are, are clonkers. These are some gigantic feet. His feet are also big, but not quite as big. If Hasbro does listen to me from time to time, please use this yellow on all future G1 Bumblebees. <laughs> this, this, this is the right color. And the, the blue, the clear blue, and as well as the painted blue on the chest, those are perfect too. Keep it yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, because this one's lemon. This other that one. One's, that one's close. It's, it's close, but close. it's lemon. The this, painted this is, parts are right, but the not painted parts are lemon. This this one is perfect. Keep keep this this palette and use it uh, forever. The other thing I'll say too about the uh, the gap in the arm, like due to the transformation. Um, I actually prefer to be on the bottom of the arm if they're going to do it. Um, so I Rather actually sides. like, yeah, it's easy to hide. Sides. Right. It's easier to hide. So like if you're going to have to have that, uh, in there, um, you know, like I, I would rather have that now. I, I would have loved to have, if they would have actually put the, uh, wrist swivel in, like you said, but I mean, to be honest, I don't really care that much about wrist articulation. Like it's fine. And I don't know, like no one, no one can move their, like a human can't move their arm like that. So yeah, they can't, they can't. Yeah. We don't yeah. really have that joint ourselves, but so I'm okay. you know, like I said, my, the reason I brought any of that up is I just feel like as an action figure alone, he's a little bit of a downgrade from this one as a representation of something unique where you specifically need this toy. He's an upgrade. Because he's the only one that really captures a screen accurate first five minutes of Bumblebee and a screen accurate chest at all. I just don't see where the action figure. I mean, other than like you said, the wrist swivel. That's the only the thing that it's not. It's really same. just the wrist. It's really just the wrist, Lucas. I like wrist swivel, even though it's not a human thing. They're robots. They have different joints. Yeah, you just put way more emphasis on that than we do. That's I do. Okay. I do, but it doesn't like if I have a toy that. Everything else I like on it, but it has slightly hollow arms and no wrist swivel. It's not like I go sell it or I get rid of it or I poop on it and flush it down the toilet. You know, I keep it and I like it still. I just, you know, every time I play with that, I'm like, man, come on, wrist move. And I don't want to hide these arms. And that's it. You know, it's not a huge deal. It's just something that always comes back to bite me. Yeah. This is not a mean biter. And the white head. <laughs> Whitest um, of heads. Well, I don't know. Do we have anything else to say on... Uh, no, that's okay. it. This is all you're getting. If you ever want this bumblebee, go get him if you want him. He's pretty easy to find right now. He's fine. Well, unless, unless you live you're where I live. Unless you're, yes, unless you're in certain places, then you can get him. But hopefully you're going to find him if you want him. Um, I was going to mention Book Club this week is going to be the More Than Meets the Eye 45 and 46. Um, so Book Club meets on Sunday nights at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central on the TF Talk Discord. Um, so uh, join in. Um, it's a lot of fun. So. Yeah, and also I'll, I'll quickly plug the fact that we have a new show that's going to be once a month during the run of the Shattered Glass comic book um christian and i are both going to be show. on it and we will be going through the day the shattered glass comics come out and we will be giving a quick not this week but next time will be quick i promise um review of the comic with a recommendation of whether or not you should go out and read it before the toys come out etc and so on it was a lot of fun last night when we recorded it we had a lot of strong feeling it's a lot of emotions coming from christian and nick um so, and a little bit of emotions coming from me, but I'm not that emotional. It, it was fun. So I'd really recommend checking I, that I feel out. Like I need to go back and watch this because how do you have such watch, strong Christian. emotions on such a, like, Look, meh book? Like, so, this you know, book is pretty, you know like, I'm really positive on this show? Like, almost all the time I have something positive to say. Right. It's the complete opposite on the Shadow Glass show. You get to see, like, mega Christian. Okay, so Christian, and I know obviously we're probably getting too much in the comic here, but like, if if you 
had to read one comic. And it could only be Shattered Glass or the new Transformers comic line. Which one would it be? It's such an easy answer for him. It's going to be Shattered Glass because it's shorter. I think it's going to be the new line because it doesn't destroy something I love. Ooh, very important. That was hard. That's a hard question. I'd rather not read either of them because they're both not great. And then t- tune in when... Uh, the new records come, comes out to you. It shatters more of Christian's dreams. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm considering it. Are you going to drag me that one too, Anna? We're going to see how the September uh, issue, we're going to see how the September conversation goes, how many viewers we have, and then I might recommend we do the records. See, I'm actually catching up. I just went ahead and bought the rest of the run of um, of the new comics today so I could read them. So I'm, I'm catching up so that I'll know what's going you? on for the records. Yeah. So, so Christian, uh, Randall says that you guess. are an SG one I am. Yes. Shattered glass one <laughs> That's yeah. a good term. A one yes. yes, I am. Well, so I just am excited that you actually can get your childhood hopes and dreams crushed. Um, because, like, for us, like, a lot of people with the Babe Ruth movies felt like that. But that was, like, when you were a kid, those movies were coming out, right? So you don't really have an opportunity to have your dreams crushed. But now with these new comics, they can. Yeah, that's true. Oh, well, I guess you got the Beast Wars movie coming out. So you can look forward to that, too. And the Beast Wars comics. The Beast Wars well, comics can also crush The Beast Wars dreams. comics are not good, but they didn't crush anything. They're just not Beast Wars, and that's that's the end of it. So. They're not that... Well, you know what? One of these days, we should really have a show where we focus just on explaining to everybody who are out here what reboots are. Well, no. wait. So, But why would you <laughs> reboot something and make it worse? Right. Oh, wait, I guess that. everyone does that. That is kind of the reboot thing, right? Like, they, oh. they'll take, like, a classic and then they, like, make it into something crappy, so. Reboot Try is to make it up. different. So. All right. Well, anyway, uh, there will be a cut the tape this week um, as well because uh, Rick actually sent it to me last weekend I was out of town. So, um, but I will put it up. Um, so, there will be a cut the tape and... I guess that's it. So, thanks, yeah. guys. We'll see you next week. Yeah, thanks so much, everyone. See you later.